oh shit, this is this is when she's actually like, because she, you know, because she wants the main Ray Stroud, the boy, uh-huh. the big boy, mm-hmm. <laughs> the big one. <laughs> Uh-huh, this will uh-huh. be interesting. This will be the first time she's like, oh, that's not the one I cared about. Eventually, the morning arrived, and the sun screamed at me to get up. Surprisingly, I woke up before my alarm clock once again, which was nice. I stretched out and quickly got dressed, getting ready for school. She expects me to say goodbye to the boys. I will say good morning, and we'll see them when I come back. No way am I going to say goodbye. I scooped up my bag and headed downstairs to the dining room, seeing the boys already eating a delicious selection of food. The smell made my stomach growl wildly at the sight of food, drew me to walk further into the room. Good morning, miss. Did you sleep well? Before I could lie, hiding the incident in the back of my mind, Damien furrowed his eyebrows and stopped eating. I just imagine him like, like, he's just eating like a pancake, and all of a sudden he just like, stiffens up and throws his knife, <laughs> he like throws his knife down like, Diana's here! <laughs> Dad is here. <laughs> She's this here. The pancake is ruined. The boys looked at Jamie in confusion while I cursed his ability silently in my mouth. Um, Damien, what's up with you? Of course she's here. <laughs> she kind of owns the house. I love Matthew's fucking duh face. Damien looked to me, wanting me to explain for him. However, the threats that Diana gave me last night want me to keep my mouth shut. Ah, uh, Diana. Daddy, Diana! Damien pressed his lips together into a fine line. The other boys looked at me with a raised eyebrow. A girl named Diana came by last night. Diana? Is she important? Not to me! Did she um, try to hurt Technically, you? yes. She's important to the room. Well, to the plot. <laughs> She's a succubus? The single word made the boys stop and stare at me. I looked at each boy. Unsure of what was going through their minds. Should I have avoided it? No. Communication is key. So, she's come to try and bring us back. She must really be desperate. Well, what should we do now? Nothing. She'll give up eventually. Will she? The boys continued to look at me as if I knew the answer to that question. Damn it, Damien. Damn it. Damien, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> she said that if I told you she'd make my life a living hell She can't possibly do that, right? She's not a devil No, she isn't However, she is a very powerful demon Great She's a master of mind manipulation And has been trained in illusion Unlike other demons who use strength to get power She uses her charisma She has the power to make armies bow to her And obey her every whim <laughs> That's why she's so obsessed with us. Why are you so obsessed with me? <laughs> what are you laughing about? The part when he, the part when James is like, she's a very powerful demon in my brain. I went, oh yeah, well I got a powerful semen. <laughs> God. <laughs> I so totally thought that was going to go the way of like, <laughs> Ang is a very powerful vendor. <laughs> no. Nope. No, apparently not. not. No. And it just got funnier the more I kept it inside. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Are you breathe? Okay. What? What do you mean? Well, she sort of has family ties to us. She was promised to marry one of us in exchange for more power. She's just some whacked up hussy who doesn't know how to close her legs. Close your own legs, Wh- Sam. I almost called him oh, Wham. Really? <laughs> I've been insulted. Wham bam, thank you, Sam. <laughs> wham bam, we're the jam. <laughs> Nobody else will get that. <laughs> I can't even remember what the name of that show was. I think it was the Amazing Mr. Chan or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Wham bam, we're the jam. <laughs> I love boomerang. Anyway. The boys and I looked around the room, wondering where the voice came from. <laughs> wham bam, we're in the jam! <laughs> <laughs> At last, we saw Diana by the entrance of the kitchen, juggling a single red apple in her hand as she leaned against the archway. Aw, oh, not a green apple. <laughs> the boys quickly surrounded me, glaring at the intruder. So, 
You took up a human name as well. Beautiful name, isn't it? Well, for a human name anyway. What the hell do you want? To bring you back, of course. However, you weren't supposed to know that I was coming. I completely forgot about that little mind-reading ability. <laughs> My mistake. Diana pushed off from the archway and walked towards us, making the boys step closer to me in a protective circle. Diana laughed. My, my, my. What has the world come to? A group of demons protecting a human girl? I'll tell you right now, she's not that pretty. And from what I can tell, she's still a virgin. Is that Rory? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, literally everyone in this room except for you, Diana, is. <laughs> Everything's gonna be daijoubu. <laughs> My face grew red in complete anger and embarrassment. How dare she? Oh, hell no! I stepped up, gently pushing the boys away to face to face with Diana. Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> I don't know if you heard my burp. I did. <laughs> so did the whole world. Hooray! <laughs> I was furious, and she was about to feel my wrath. You are in my house. You are an intruder. You have no power here. Oh, really? Do I have to remind you of the power I have, dear? No. With a snap of her fingers, my mind suddenly locked up and I felt blank. I could see the world around me, but I lost control of my body. The boys quickly reformed around me, with James gripping onto Diana's wrist in anger. You will leave this instant. Or what? You'll kill me? I completely dare you to. Let me do it. I could use the workout. Don't. The boys looked to Damien while Diana smirked at my blank state. I wanted to fight this hold, but her power held me down. And why not? She wants us to kill her. If she dies, then civil war starts in the demon world. <laughs> Very good, sweetie. What happens in the demon world doesn't concern us anymore. We live here now. The demons will come to the human world and hunt us down before attacking each other. The demons will come to the human world? All because of her? You sneaky bitch. With another snap of Diana's fingers, I was released from her hold, almost buckling to my knees. Oh, there's a Nidorino nearby. Fuck! Oh my god. I went on an adventure today. Yeah. Trying to get a Vaporeon. Okay, so I walked like all around the neighborhood trying to find this fucking Vaporeon. And you know you know where it was? Where? In the middle of the fucking lake. <laughs> so I couldn't get it. I, I, I walked all the way around this lake and like it would pulse, like the green pulses would get faster every time I got closer to the water. But anytime I went away, they would get slower. So like it was literally in the middle of the lake and like look. I don't have a kayak. I'm not like those New Zealand people who are gonna kayak out to a gym in the middle of the ocean to claim it. I don't have that stuff. Also, there might be alligators. Oh, oh my god! What? There's, 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 there's. What's the a Charmeleon? The middle a Charmander? one. Charmander? No, between Charmander and Charizard. That's. I'm pretty sure that's Charmeleon. There's one nearby, but I can't. There's a Raichu too. Shit. I have a Pikachu. Oh, wait, you also have a Pikachu. I, I can't go out. It's down. It's LA. I can't go walking around <laughs> tonight. I'm so sad. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> I, okay, I did, I, I did this line, by the way. Well, will you all change your minds? I should. Sorry. I need to keep my hand off this clicker. Keep your hand off the clicker. You're like in a clicker game. You gotta go like clicker. <laughs> I expected the boys to say no. What I heard was complete silence. None of the boys did to replied to Diana, which made me both nervous and fearful as to why. Diana leaned her head back a bit, surprised for a different reason. No. Well, I see. Was silence truly them saying no to her? I looked around at the boys and saw the disobedience in their eyes, giving me my answer. I felt my heart flutter, especially when my eyes landed on James. He kept close to me, glaring daggers into Diana. I could feel he was completely adamant in his choice to stay. 
I don't know what, but I was incredibly happy to know he wanted to stay. Diana sighed and pressed a finger into her temple, rubbing it gently. Either all of you are playing a very convincing hard-to-get game, or you all must be out of your minds. Diana then looked at me, locking her gaze with mine as if to read me. I could tell she wanted me to do something, but the boys would stop her. So the only stare was her only available action. After a small moment of silence, Diana licked her lips before breaking the gaze battle and smiling to the boys around me. Very well. I guess I'll take my leave now. What? Her leave? I Was didn't she give you leave. The boys around me straightened up and grew confused. Looks on their faces as Diana stepped back and away from us with a small bow, but flaunting her cleavage. She hit the floor. <laughs> Without another word, a deep purple pentagram. <laughs> I can't read that line without thinking like the f it was a flying purple people eater. <laughs> what? Well, that was a one-eyed, one-horned flying purple people eater. Mm -hmm. Anyway, without another word, a deep purple pentagram appeared under her feet, and Diana's body slowly sank into the floor. As her head vanished into the floor, the pentagram vanished. At once, the boys relaxed and slowly began to return to those parts of the table. Each in deep thought. She'll be back, but she won't kill us. She needs us alive. Whatever. We'll just keep saying no. She can't force us to come back. She can't do anything but annoy us. Eventually, she'll give up. That's the hope, anyway. James walked over to me and gently caressed my cheek, looking at me with a comforting smile. There's no need to worry. I promise she won't hurt you. I nodded, feeling that he was telling the truth, or at least hopeful and comforting thought. James kissed my forehead, <laughs> however, making me blush and forget what I was talking about. The sound of collective chuckles and playful snickers whispered through the air, making me blush even more, with a sudden growl, growl, what? A oh, growl that erupted from the man above me made the laughter stop. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I didn't see James' face. But I could tell that he was glaring. That's so stupid. Stop doing that. <laughs> oh, God, you're all so lame. He and I pulled away from each other just as the sound of Naomi's car appeared. I quickly ate my food, waved to the boys, and left, confident that nothing was going to happen. Never, ever say that nothing will happen before the day is over, because we will just skip through it. I avoided talking about the ride back home yesterday, saying that the ride was a one-time thing. I'll be riding with you guys from now on to and from school. The girls seemed very happy. We entered the school, quickly gathered our things from our lockers, and headed to class. There were no events to our surprise. History wasn't exactly fun, but our teacher was great. At least, he would have been had he been in class that day. Dun, dun, dun! The Dirty Diana! Doesn't know her fairy tales, know. aside from oh, little what? Disney things. Not even accurate that's to that's the Disney true. things. It's uh, the, the, the Laundry versus Diana it's in the fairy tale battle. Have We're gonna ride you James like he's a saddle. You really? <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> James, I'm not a rapper. Uh, <laughs> you. Oh. Whoa! And then we sunk fully into the floor, fading into darkness and shutting my eyes because we sucked at rapping so hard that we passed out and ended up at home. Sure, let's go with that. Yeah! As I opened, I felt my silk sheets around me, soothing my anxiety from the darkness that had previously surrounded me. What? What the? Well, how did Diana bring me home? Was it an illusion? Was I being tricked? Something was going on. I sat up in bed, looking around me. I was indeed in my room. There was no mistake about that. Why? Diana is too strange. Was this a game? Was this part of her plan to get the boys back? I was lost and confused more than ever, despite my logical thought trying to piece the puzzle that is Diana together. The more I tried to solve her, the less I understood about the situation I was in. I was interrupted, however, by my door suddenly opening, revealing the boys with Damien's hand on the doorknob. 
Miss, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be in school? I furrowed my eyebrows and stared at Damien. Asking him to- <laughs> He's just like, to, oh, jeez. <laughs> like, why do I have to be everyone's mouthpiece? Asking him to answer their questions through my thoughts. Diana sent her back here. She invaded her school and sent all the students back home. What is that bitch up to? Seriously, Diana's playing around for no reason. Maybe it's part of her plan. The boys continued to argue back and forth about Diana, fueling an almost jealous curiosity in me. Damien seemed to be too deep within the talking to notice my thoughts, for he didn't even stop talking alongside his brothers. Why was Diana after them? Why did she want to bring them back? What was so important about the boys that she would travel to the human world to get them? What was going on? I decided enough was enough. I needed answers. Hey! The boys stopped arguing, staring at me in surprise. I held my hands with fists on my lap, mustering the courage to continue to speak despite my abrupt shout. Why is Diana here? Why does she want to bring you all back? What exactly did you run from, and why? Miss, we... Don't miss me. Please, I need to know what's going on. I won't be left in the dark about this. I want to know what I'm facing. <laughs> here we go. The boys looked at each other hesitantly, unsure of what to reply. Finally, Sam pushed Damien towards the bed, making him buckle and land on his knees with his torso over the edge of the mattress. Damien, do the thing. The thing? What thing? Sam, you're not suggesting. Why not? She deserves to know everything, especially if Diana is targeting her. Sam's right. Sam's right? I guess we have no choice then. I was getting confused. What was Damien about to do? Damien stood before climbing onto the bed with me, sitting across from me on his knees. We are going to show you everything. You have to trust me, okay? The minute you stop trusting me, the vision will stop. We will always trust you, Damien. <laughs> always. We'll follow you into the dark. Vision? Please. Just trust him. Already done. I looked at James, unsure of what was going on, but I nodded. If this was the only way to learn, then this was my chance to know. Damien gently placed his hands on each side of my head, gently pressing his thumbs into the skin above my eyebrows. I could only stare at Damien as his eyes began to glow gold. Energy began to <laughs> be pulled out of me and forced into my head. <laughs> 